What's going on, nobles? This is Rhodes Martinez, and I'm going to be forging a knife with you today. I'm going to start off by just dropping in my point right here on my anvil. Um, I just do this by heating it up in my forge and establishing my shape. I'm also switching out tongs here just so I can get a better grip on the metal. This forge is going around 1500 to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. And now I'm just putting in my bevels. I'm also just using a piece of railroad clip to flatten out the piece and give me a nice straight piece of metal. And this is what it looks like right after forging. I'd say it was pretty good. I'm now moving on to the grinding and profiling phase. So I'm just gonna take this to my one by 30 belt grinder and establish my perimeter. This is a more stressful part. Uh, I have to quench the blade in oil to really harden the blade. Now comes the not so fun part, which is polishing. It takes me a long time, but as you can see, it's worth it. And I've just glued the two sides of my handle on. And this is what it looks like after the glue has set. And now I'm just going back to my 1x30, refining the shape. And I'm going to go back with sandpaper and just define it more by hand. After it's done being sanded, I'm going to submerge it in boiled linseed oil. And this exposes the grain and shows the beautiful pattern. There you go, look at that beautiful pattern. The last thing to do is to get it nice and sharp. So I'm just putting some buffing compound on a piece of leather. This is called a strop. And what I'm doing is I'm just dragging it along the leather. This is really honing my edge, making it nice and razor sharp. And as you can see, it performs really well. It also chops, which is a very good way to test the durability of your blade uh, and its edge retention. And even after all that chopping, it's still delicate enough to pass through this paper with ease. a 10 inch flat back camp knife with a hickory burl handle and brass pins. Hope you guys enjoyed this and I'm just going to keep on forging. Have a good day guys.